Hello guys, my name is Jovan and I'm the administrator of the Sims community website. In this video, I'll be showcasing some of the information released by the Sims team, so let's dig in. In this post, we have an official trailer released for Create a Pet tool, showing off the new tool, the new customization options, the paint tool, as well as some new footage and frames uh, where you can see the new world and interactions between Sims and their pets. Here we have the new Sims official blog, which basically explains how the Create a Pet tool came to life and how they compared it to the Sims 3 Create a Pet tool, um, how they wanted to improve it. Um, how, how can they make the Create a Pet tool match with the Sims 4's art style and how many breeds do they want to include it, so be sure to read this. We wanted to make a small breakdown of all the new frames from the Create a Pet trailer, so here you can see 145 screens from the trailer. Um, I know how much you want to go into details, so I released every important frame in this post, so be sure to check it out. The Sims team will also have an official live stream of the Create a Pet tool, showing off what you can do, and this live stream will be hosted by SimGuruJM and SimGuruRomeo. In case you missed this live stream, we'll be embedding the official Twitch live stream uh, from Twitch to our website. If there is anything new or anything that wasn't mentioned before, we'll make sure to cover that, so stay tuned. The new Cats and Dogs Create a Pet trailer also shows some interesting objects and details uh, that you might have missed. So I wanted to give you my breakdown of some of the things that you probably missed. I'm not sure if you missed it or not, but there are some interesting details that you should definitely check out. For example, the Raincoat Man statue, uh, the fishnet wall decals, and some of the interactions between children and toddlers. I don't want to spoil everything, so make sure you check out this article. SimGuru Sarah went on Twitter to explain how the pet aging process will work and how you can actually disable the aging process. So, if you want to disable uh, aging for cats and dogs, you'll also have to disable aging for the Sims they basically function, function together. I'm not sure how this will function for setting age lifespans, so I'll cover that in case they mention it. Make sure you stay tuned on our Cats and Dogs news category for all the latest updates and articles about the Sims 4 Cats and Dogs expansion pack. We're less than 30 days away from this expansion pack, so you should definitely stay tuned to this category because the Sims team will only boost more information as we get closer to the release date. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!